Please make sure you do subscribe. I really appreciate all your guys' support. I'm gonna do a leg session today, followed by a few other bits and pieces. I've always been someone who likes to get up early. I've never really struggled, but I found it way easier to get up here on the Gold Coast in Queensland. I know it's because the sun rises right there and the sun is so bright in the mornings. Here's the car. Best thing about this car, hybrid. This car, the Toyota Kluger. It's actually a hybrid, so it runs on petrol and it runs on, and it's an electric car as well, so it does both. Drive to the gym. <laughs> So we just got to the gym. Just about to go in, do my sessions. Only a short drive down to Broad Beach. Quite nice, a lot of people out and about exercising. The sun's rising, gonna get into it. But I'm not gonna take my phone or the camera. So I'm, that means I'm not gonna get any footage. So see you when I get back. Yo, there it is, gym session, all done. It's like a functional leg session today. Just get the body ticking over. I don't like taking phone in the gym because I've got these things at the moment, AirPods, and also I just got a Apple Watch, which is amazing. I've always wanted one and I've kind of held out, but I finally was like, you know what? It's time to treat yourself, get an Apple Watch. Session's done and it's only seven o'clock. So now I'm gonna go and get a coffee for Marissa and I. I'll get back, hopefully the breakfast time. You know what your boy has for brekkie? Let's go! What a way to start the day, man. Let's go. Just got back to the hotel and I never used to drink a large coffee but Marissa kind of got me into it and because the coffee shop downstairs is amazing coffee, they do awesome coffee. I've been getting large so get some coffees and head back up to the room. All right, I've got the coffees. Yesterday I got these coffees, two large coffees, got into the room and I went to get Myra out of bed while holding a coffee and I dropped one and it went everywhere all over the carpet and the bed. So I had to go back downstairs and get her another one. I was filthy. Oh, can't feel me. <laughs> Rich has got no clothes on. <laughs> Do not feel <sighs> Shan't be showing that. Good morning, how are you? Should we open up the blinds a little bit? So here's the coffee I was telling you about. On there, on the carpet too. What a dumb. Oh! There it is, the usual breakfast team. How good does it look? And the large coffee. That's breakfast after the gym. Doesn't get any better. All right, so it's that time of the week where we have our weekly meeting for my business. So we've got to step into the office, which is Kyrie's bedroom, set up the makeshift desk. So here's the makeshift office, laptop on a box of nappies and the seat. This is how we get in there and do our work. All right guys, so that is the meeting is done now. We're actually gonna to head to the Harbour Town outlets for a bit of a walk, get out of the house and a bit of a look around. This is our last week on the Gold Coast before we head on a holiday up north to Ely Beach. So trying to make the most of it. We've had such a good time here on the Gold Coast. It's been amazing. Been so grateful to not be in lockdown and pretty much live a normal life. So very thankful for that. So we're heading to Harbour Town. Uh, 
I don't know if you'll be shopping today. Why not? Because all she does is slap my credit card. So, last week on the Gold Coast. I'm sad, though. How are you feeling about I'm, it? I'm sad. I've loved it here. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm excited for the next chapter. And I'm excited to see what Ellie Beach has for us. Alright, so we're here at Harbour Town, got our masks on, we're gonna have a bit of a walk around. Alright guys, just got back from the shops, we've put the kids down and had some lunch, and this is what I got. This is my bag. Usually, I don't get too much because, I don't know, I don't really like shopping that much. But yes, got a pair of Thrills Boardies at the outlet, they're sick. Gonna take them for the holiday next week when we go to Ellie Beach. So I'm kind of just reflecting on my time here on the Gold Coast. It's coming to an end. It's been absolutely crazy being here for the last few months. Obviously played the back end of the season up here, training, done quarantine, family did quarantine. Been extremely lucky to live a pretty free and normal life up here so far in Queensland. So thank you Queensland for having us. You're gonna have a lot more of me though over the next three years. So <laughs> we are basically Queenslanders now. <laughs> no way. Well, what's going on guys? T minus two days until we are moving away from the Gold Coast. Have a go at this view, and I know I've showed you guys a few times before, but man, beaches are beautiful up here. Look at that, man. And that's the surface crossing right there. Beautiful conditions today. Two days left on the Gold Coast, and that means we need to start packing. We've got a lot of stuff in here, and we have been living out of a suitcase for the last few months. But obviously, as you know, you buy stuff, you get stuff, so I've got to try and find some room for everything. So I need to need to get my suitcases. Two. So the reason why trying to pack two days out before we leave is because we've got three kids and they have a lot of stuff, but also tomorrow, Sunday, it's the NRL Grand Final and we are actually going to the game. Marissa's brother, Scott, so my brother-in-law plays for the Panthers. He's playing in the Grand Final. Man, so proud of Scotty. He's had such a big year. We're going down to support him in Brisbane. So we're gonna head there tomorrow and that's why we wanna be nice and organized. So here's a lot of my clothes that I'm just gonna get packed up that I'm not gonna use over the next two days. Footy boots as well, so there's a few jumpers and stuff there. That is gonna go into here, or here? Maybe over here. Yep, there it is. The suitcase is all packed out. Just left the boots here too. But yeah, obviously as I said guys, we've been living out of a suitcase for like the last however many months, I can't even really remember how long. It's been a while. And I guess there are some positives and some negatives to living out of a suitcase. Obviously, so, so grateful to Queensland that they opened up to the NRL and we were able to come up here and play the season out. Like, we are so, so grateful that we get to continue to do what we love to do, and that's play football. Obviously, the downsides to this are that you don't live in your own house. And, you know, we've had to take uh, Myra out of preschool and little things like that that obviously affect the kids a little bit more. They're obviously on this journey with us as well. So I look forward to us after we holiday in Ellie Beach to moving to Townsville and then settling in with the family into our new home. And then obviously starting things up like Myra's dancing and some preschool and some activities for the kids. To How are you feeling? I don't want to leave the Gold Coast. <laughs> We're um, going to Ellie Beach. Yeah, I know, but there's just so much to do here. It's going to be fun in the villa. We get to see Scott and Elle up there too, which will be good. And party! Alright team, so that is it for today's vlog. Our time on the Gold Coast is coming to an end. I really hope you've been enjoying these vlogs. We've been so grateful to stay here on the Gold Coast in the Sunshine State of Queensland. Just basically live free life with no lockdowns. It's been very, very enjoyable. <laughs> That's Mia in the background. She's really been enjoying it as well. So our next vlog is going to be Ellie Beach. So make sure you stay tuned. We're off for a little bit of a getaway, a proper holiday before we move to Townsville and start our next chapter. Going to bring you guys along for the journey as always. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoy these videos and we'll see you guys on the next episode.